Welcome to the application delivery how to video series. My name is Sean and today we're going to cover the topic of how to secure applications with SSL everywhere. SSL everywhere is basically a one button click to enable a bunch of different SSL features and we'll jump into that right now. Here on my AVI controller, I have an AVI networks demo virtual service currently configured with ports 80 and 443. This is the one I'll be editing. I'm going to edit the application profile under the security tab. And here it is SSL everywhere. We can either enable these individual features one by one or boom, enable them all at once by clicking the SSL everywhere checkbox. Now there's a bunch of different features and I don't expect you to memorize them all. But one way to figure it out if you need a quick recap is to look at this little tooltip. HSTS can help mitigate man in the middle attacks by telling browsers that support HSTS that they should only access this site via HTTPS. That's one way, or just watch the rest of this video and I'll also do a demo. So HTTP to HTTPS redirect, that's pretty straightforward. If you come in on HTTP, we will redirect you to HTTPS. HTTP only cookies, so our backend servers could be sending a cookie to back to the clients. So we're going to tag it with HTTP only, which will help mitigate cross site scripting by informing browsers to not allow cookies to be used by third parties, such as JavaScript or other websites. Secure cookies is another tag we'll use to inform browsers to only send this cookie to the virtual service over HTTPS. Rewrite server redirects to HTTPS, so our backend server could be sending a redirect, and the location could be an HTTP endpoint. We will rewrite that to be HTTPS. And X forwarded proto, this is a header insert that will indicate whether the connection is HTTP or HTTPS to the backend server. So let's save this and jump into a demo. So on my terminal, I'm going to execute some curl commands and first I'm going to test the HTTP endpoint for that redirect. Perfect. We get a redirect to the HTTPS endpoint. So now I'm going to send it to the HTTPS endpoint and we get 200 OK. This is great. But along with that, we see a secure tag and an HTTP only tag. And we also see our strict transport security header. So this is good so far. The last thing I want to do is test my server side redirect. So my slash home should redirect us back to the main site. And here it is. It says HTTPS avi networks.fe.lab.in. But how do we know the server sent us the HTTP endpoint? Well, let's jump to the logs and take a look. So here on my avi networks demo virtual service, I'm going to go to the logs. And once I click logs, non-significant logs, we're going to refresh. And here they are, the requests I made. So 301, this was just a redirect to the HTTPS endpoint. Then our HTTPS request, we get a 200 OK. So client to the virtual service and then to the backend server. If we view all headers, we can see that we sent to the backend server this X forwarded proto HTTPS. And then the server sent us back a cookie with no tags. But when we sent it back to the client, we see we tagged it with secure and HTTP only. And we also added a strict transport security header. So everything looks to be working so far. Last thing I want to check is that redirect. So same thing, we got a 302 here, 302, but it reached the backend server. So the backend server sent us that 302. So we're going to view all headers. And here it is, location HTTP and Avi rewrote it as HTTPS. And we still have that secure HTTP only tag and the strict transport security. So it looks like everything's working as expected. I wanna thank you for joining me in this video and stay tuned for more of our application delivery how-to videos.